Here is a disturbing fact. Every 21 days, an indigenous language in this world dies, lost forever. Globalization of communication opens people to the world, but also plays an increasing role in the extinction of rich but vulnerable oral languages. In the future, if a language does not exist online, it will vanish. More than 14 at-risk languages are spoken here in Georgia, several threatened with extinction. The Pankisi Gorge in Georgia is home to approximately 15,000 kists, ethnic Chechens living in Georgia for centuries, speaking a particular derivative of Chechen. Kist, like most oral languages, will probably not survive because it is not digitally viable. Until now. The With the help of a small group of international linguists, the, second one is to eat. the staff and students of the Roddy Scott Foundation in Georgia are putting the KIST language online. What we're witnessing is a critical moment in the life of a language. What we're able to do is we're able to take artificial intelligence through computer vision um, that Google has produced, and we're able to take this language that um, is largely forgotten and is nestled away in the Caucasus Mountains, forgotten by most of the world. They are using an app adapted specifically for them to take pictures of their surroundings and assign indigenous kissed words to the photo and provide translation. The app can then translate back and forth between global and previously saved indigenous languages. But first, they must build an alphabet. Not easy with sounds particular to their language. I loved watching the teachers talk about um, discussing the orthography and deciding, well, what sounds do we have? And no, no, we say it like this, and, and then how do we represent that? For me, that was really exciting. Finally, an alphabet is agreed, coded, and loaded online in real time. With their alphabet, uh, I was taking notes about um, what, what would be useful for them and how they wanted to use it, and then making changes to the app according to how they would wanted to use it. Teachers have been trained, and they are comfortable with the app. Marcy, come here. <laughs> it's sometimes not as easy as it sounds. It's becoming a digital world out there. But we must still warm up the classroom in the traditional way. And now, bring on the students. These uh, words, this language did not disappear. They are taught how to use the app. They are young and of course they love anything involving smartphones. They pick it up instantly, taking pictures, adding their voice and text to anything they can find. And having a great time. <laughs> We're able to bring those two things together and actually take some of the most innovative technology that exists and actually use it to feature for all humanity the beauty of this language in a way that's fun and encourages um, every generation to get involved again in reviving and renewing their language with modern technology. With this technology, the children immerse themselves in their traditional language. Some kissed words I don't know, and today I have learned some of them words and I think in the future I will learn more. It helps us to improve our kissed language and uh, we, we can also learn more about kissed language and more words in kissed language. In building this online dictionary, the teachers and children are becoming experienced at providing training for other vulnerable communities to replicate this project with other minority languages here, helping preserve local cultural heritage and share it with the world.